actually, actually, I should have had everything on this end down here. But I'm gonna do it like I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna have my ring to work with it right here. So I'm not gonna be able to lock everything down. So you guys have to bear with me. All right. So what's gonna happen is you guys are gonna have to make the rafters, right? And the best way I know to do the rafter part is to um, once we once we get the the, the ceiling joists up. We're gonna get an idea of the height of how we're gonna go. Now we're gonna do our rafters, we're gonna do six foot up pitch. All right, six foot. That means is every every um every 12 feet, we're gonna go up six feet. Or every 12 inches, we're gonna go up six inches. That makes sense? So that's what we're gonna be doing. Now you, you have six twelve. You have um, 812, you have 1012. Those are your typical pitches that you're gonna have on the roof. Now, the roof today, um, in most of the houses that I do right now, those pitches are 1512, all right? Now guys, I'm not a framer, all right? But this is some of the stuff that the framers should do, and I don't expect you guys, unless you just wanna get out there and frame, um, these are some of the things that you're gonna have to know how to do, all right? Typically what my guys do, and what I see my guys do, is they would um they will cut a a template okay and they'll use that template to cut the rest of them along that like say for instance on you guys y'all got the same thing you, you see what i'm saying when you get a little bit more complicated roof sometimes you get hips and stuff like that going on you might have to do these like this right here you only have three of them you're gonna do like this and then you got Five of them you're gonna do a, a different way, and they're gonna have different pitches, okay? But ours is fairly simple. Um, so, but each and every last one of us is gonna get a chance to do this right here part. This is the part that I want you guys to know, and this is what I want you guys to learn. All right, right here is what we got. Um, this is a quick square, okay? And this is uh, this is our, uh, um, this is a really, really good tool, guys. And I'll show you in just a second. Uh, this right here is uh, my carpenter's square. We're we gonna we're gonna use this right here. Um, now I have the cheap. This is the cheap tight tape measure. When I said the cheap tight tape measure, it has uh, half inches and all of that stuff already on here. So, but if you use a fat max, fat max, you can get this length over here real far. But it doesn't have all the all the um, numbers on. You know, all the sixteenth of an inch. I think this all this goes all the way down to an eighth of an inch. Go sixteenth of an inch. Let's do sixteenth of sixteenth of an inch. So we're gonna need a hammer um, to get the bird's mouth cut out good, and then we're gonna need the um, chisel to make it real good. And of course, you're gonna need some pencil. And this right here is I have my uh, now this thing right here has a dull blade. So you guys bear with me today, okay? Um, and then you're gonna need a a regular hand saw. Some things you just can't do with this right here because it cuts around, okay? You can't make a bit straight to cut. Alright, so these are the things on you. Now, so I know that my I know that my um my cut is gonna be 612. Y'all with me? But now when we when we put our rafters up, right? Let's see if I can like you don't want when your rafters go up, you don't want this right here side, the, the end part, the eave side. You know what we're talking about? We don't want that to look like this right here. We, we, it needs to be straight down where we can attach our facial board and our socket. It, it just needs to make a good square. So this right here has to be cut at an angle. Plum cut. Correct. So that's what we're going to, what do you call that? Plum cut. Plum cut. It needs to go straight down, right? All right, so that's what we're going to do. So we know that we've got a 612. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here. And now, so you can see this right here. If you look at this square right here, this square right here, you're gonna look at common, common rafters right here. This is what this is what we're gonna follow. Common rafters. Y'all see that? All right. So now we're gonna follow the six right here, six twelve. So that's where your six is. If you have a, if you had a ten twelve, you're gonna go to the ten. You have twelve twelve, you're gonna go. You follow me? Now on the other side of this right here, if, if you see the six right here, if I were to, uh, this is a good idea. So if I take this right here and I go, you see I'm at the six right there? Now right across from that six, right across from that six right there, is the angle that's associated with that cut. 
you see that's 25 degrees right here is this is probably going to be 22 and a half degrees you see it, it, i'm sorry it should have been 22 and a half degrees right there i think it's 22 and a half degrees right there actually no that's 22 and a, i think 22 and a half is right there so this right here is almost about let's see you got 22 26 27 it's about 27 degrees uh, uh, 20 26 and a half or something like that so that's the angle that's associated and we're gonna we're gonna use that angle in just a second okay all right so first cut we're gonna make you that end cut that plum cut that you're talking about so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come right here if i can get my there we go we're gonna, i'm gonna come here and i'm gonna move this thing all the way up to six if you can kind of get can you get that angle right there I got that six right there. Y'all see how I got that? So once I get it that way, that's, that's gonna be that cut. So if I go up, does that make sense? That's gonna be the cut on the end. So it's gonna make it, once you put it up there, it's gonna be plum, all right? So let's just say, for instance, um, I usually like to go out about a foot from that. I think my guys used to do about a foot and a half. But since we got such a small uh, house in there, we're gonna go out a foot. So about a foot from that, so if you go out a foot from that, which would be about right here, that's probably where I want my bird's mouth to be right there, okay? I wanna start my bird's mouth right there, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing. All right, I'm gonna come right here. Typically, what I like to do is I like to make sure I got it. I got it just right. So I can see it just right, just right on there. And then what I'm gonna do is since I got it just right on the edge, I'm gonna make sure I put it on the edge right there. And I'm gonna do my six again. Y'all with me? So I'm gonna go down here. Boom! I got my six again. So you're really duplicating this right here. We got that. All right, now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go out, and, and, and once you guys get to doing this right here, I know that's why that's why I'm filming it. You probably want to ask me again. I, I don't I don't have a problem going over this right here again. So, so don't, don't. I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go out three and a half inches. Why am I going out three and a half inches? I'm gonna go out three and a half inches, which is right there. Notice how I make my cuts there. Yeah. I'm going out three and a half inches. I'm remembering this. I'm going out three and a half inches. Why am I going out three and a half inches? Huh? Oh, so I need, do I need to put this on? No, I don't know. I'm going to cut it, but why three and a half inches? Why not five inches? Six inches? Because of the width of your board? With my board, you know that, that those studs are, are going to be the thickness. Going, you want to sit right on top of that stud and have that three and a half inches. Okay. All right. So now this is this is where my square comes in. At. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to take my square. I'm going to line it up. I'm going to line it up with that with that angle there. I'm going to line it up at the edge of this right here. Okay. So then I can. I got my little beak there. That's, that's what I'm gonna cut out. Okay, so I like to go ahead and just, you know, kind of. You know, I know this right here's gotta come out, right? Okay. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come here and we got a couple of saws in here. So, I mean, make sure y'all don't, yeah. <laughs> you know, make sure while you're doing this right here, don't make this thing engage. Now, you got a couple of different things. You got. First, you gotta push that down, then you gotta do that. Um, so, I usually try to grab it down here and, and not try to, while I'm setting my saw. So this right here, this right here affects the thickness of the cut, right? Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna get that set about the thickness that I want. I'll make sure it's flat. I think I got it right there. So that's about the thickness I'm gonna get. That's the thickness of what I'm gonna do right here, okay? 
probably gonna be a little bit more. I'm gonna tilt that away. Um, then I'm gonna do that angle. So I'm gonna use that angle at about um, this angle. It's about 27 inches, 26 and a half. So you can actually see. You can actually see those angles right there. That's like 22 and a half. I think it's right here, it's 26 and a half right here. Cause those are common cuts, cause it's a six way, okay? So we're gonna put that thing on there. We'll lock it in there. All right. I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna cut, cut right here. Now, I'm gonna make one more. I know guys, it seems like it's a lot, but when you do it a whole lot, it's just boom, you just go through it. So I'm gonna go through here, and this is my beak right here. I'm gonna go right here. That way I got something I can guide my saw with. into this board right here, the less structure you're going to have on this right here. You want this board to be as thick as possible, all right? Uh, as a matter of fact, you don't want to notch no more than a third of this board. You don't want to go into this board a third of the inch of the width of this board, okay? All right, so now we'll come here and I take my saw and uh, I'll put it in my head. I may have to come over on this side of the bed. Alright, so now, I mean, we got a pretty good, we got, we got a pretty good, you can keep it right there. That, that's, a, that's a pretty nice, it's almost got to where I don't have to use this that much. But you want it to sit really, really flat on here. So I'm going to kind of get away in this. Alright, get a little bit away, this right here away. Yeah. 
But that's what you want right there. That's what y'all gonna be doing when y'all do y'all. And now, here's what we're gonna do. So now, we're gonna cut that, and we're gonna get this in place, and we're gonna figure out, we're gonna do it while we're doing it. We're gonna figure out where this cut. It's gonna be the same cut we got down here, but we're gonna do it as we go, because it's better to do it that way, because the problem is, we kind of messed up on our wall there. It's supposed to be seven feet wide, but we uh, added another seven inches. I don't know why we did that, because we got the studs on. You see what I'm saying? We got the studs, so we just we measured the board out seven feet. You see what I'm saying? But I think the other side would be okay. So that means we got another, we got another seven inches. You see what I'm saying? That we go out instead of seven feet. So instead of going three feet, um, was it for every foot you go up? You see what I'm saying? Three inches, uh, three and a half. Uh, no, six, six, six inches. It would have made it right. You see what I'm saying? We could have went up. Um, I think like 18 plus another three or something like that, and that would have kind of put us there. So what we'll do now in this case right here, since we're kind of off on those numbers, it's a little bit harder to calculate. So we'll just stick build it. We'll build up something high enough, and we'll put this on there, and then we'll see what the mill is going to be. And then that's how we're going to determine where that cut's going to be right there in the middle. Does that make sense? Any questions? Any questions on how I got this right here? And see, what you'll do is, you know, you guys can rotate. We have a couple people, you know, marking these right here on the boards. And somebody can come and cut, and then we got to rotate and make sure everybody gets a chance to do this right here at least one time. Two if you can. This is another one, right? Okay. All right, guys, you guys. <laughs>